news right now that just came out. So this is breaking news. So if you are a Fortnite fan, well, something amazing is going to happen tomorrow. So Epic Games, just out of the blue, like this is completely random. This is a surprise no one expected. Epic Games just dropped a teaser trailer for tomorrow. And guess what's dropping? The Fortnite OG Reload. So, in case you don't know what this is, we're going back to the OG map. And this time, it's going to be a little bit different. So, I'm excited. Um, people are saying this is part of Epic Games' kind of like summer celebration event. So, we're going to be going back to Fortnite OG. But, the current season map is still going to be available to be played. So, you know how there's like a zero build and a build mode in Fortnite and you can select what mode you want to play? Well, that's what they're going to do with this new map. Fortnite Reload is going to be a separate map that you select and you'll be able to load in and play on this OG Fortnite map. Now, the reason that it's called Reload uh, is because this map is a little bit different. So it is basically a mini squeezed version of the OG map. So the entire map is a little bit smaller and there's only like six or seven major locations like Tilted Towers, Retail Row, Loot Lake, and a few other spots. So just think of it as like a smaller, maybe more action-packed OG map. And uh, yeah, this is going to be super exciting. I cannot wait to download this update tomorrow. I will be playing this 100% on the channel. I am just so, so excited for this. And uh, yeah, it, it's called Fortnite OG uh, Reload. Uh, Epic Games only put up a small teaser trailer. And that's about it. We got to see some quick locations on this really small OG map. Uh, some people are saying that the map won't be for 100 players, but maybe 50. So think of like a smaller Battle Royale map for maybe like 50 players instead of 100, possibly. So uh, hopefully we learn more tomorrow when the update comes out. But I am so, so excited about this, so I thought I had to talk about this in the news, because the Fortnite community is going crazy right now. So Fortnite Reload, that's awesome. So uh, for everyone complaining about this season right now, you're, you're gonna get the chance to play the current season or Fortnite OG. So you already know, there's gonna be a bunch of people downloading Fortnite right now just to play that OG mode for sure. This is like the best summer gift. And speaking of summer gifts, Nintendo delivered this week. So, just like Epic Games did, Nintendo earlier this week just randomly, without even warning anyone, said, Oh yeah, Nintendo Direct tomorrow, basically. And uh, everyone lost their minds. They're like, yes, Nintendo Direct tomorrow. They're going to be announcing, you know, new games and stuff. So people were very, 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 very excited. And let me tell you, Nintendo absolutely delivered in this Nintendo Direct. We're going to go through some of their big video game announcements, but like every single thing they announced was a banger. So uh, first, they started off with a new Mario and Luigi game. And Mario and Luigi, for those that don't know, is an RPG uh, Nintendo series from like the Nintendo Game Boy Advance DS and 3DS era. And we have not gotten a new game since the 3DS, which was like nine years ago. So this is a huge deal. So it's called Mario and Luigi Brothership. And uh, you're going to be visiting, like, new locations on this huge ship, going on adventures together, trying to save the world, and it looks awesome. Uh, I love Mario and Luigi games, so I will be buying this one for sure. 
and uh, everyone is very excited, and this comes out in November this year, so that's great news. Uh, comes out on the 7th of November, by the way. Uh, next, Nintendo revealed this one. This one made me very happy. Fantasian. So, for those that don't know, uh, the creator of Final Fantasy, one of the biggest kind of Japanese RPG games in the world, uh, was created by this guy called Hironobu Sakaguchi. And uh, this guy, uh, he left in the early like 2000s to create his own video game company and make. RPGs, and his last RPG was exclusive to iPhone, so, like, if you didn't have an iPhone, you couldn't play it, so a lot of people were like, we want to play your game, please release it, and, uh, finally, I guess, this year, they have officially decided to release his final kind of masterpiece game on the Nintendo Switch, so people are super excited for this. Uh, this game has, like, a really unique art style. They built, like, miniature kind of model houses in real life. They took photos, and then they used them for, like, the backgrounds in this game. It has a really special art style, and the game's awesome if you like RPGs, which I do. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. Uh, Nintendo showed off, this one's actually really, really cool, so Nintendo showed off the, um, I was actually really, really hoping they would do this, but yeah, they showed off the remastered kind of remake of Donkey Kong Country Returns, so on the Nintendo Wii, like, a long time ago, they released a Donkey Kong Country game called Donkey Kong Country Returns, and then they ported that to the 3DS, and then we never heard of this game again, basically. Uh, they gave us a new Donkey Kong Country game, Tropical Freeze, on the Wii U and Switch, and uh, people were wondering if we were going to get a new game or something, but yeah, during this Direct, they basically announced an HD remastered version of the original Wii Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Switch. It looks awesome. I can't wait to play it. I am a big Donkey Kong fan, so I love, love this. And uh, that's coming out on the 16th of January uh, next year, so right at the beginning of the year. So I guess after Christmas, there's something to look forward to. So I'm a huge Dragon Quest fan. Out of, I would say out of all the RPG series that exist, Dragon Quest is my personal favorite. I have a collection, actually, <laughs> of Dragon Quest games. I own every single Dragon Quest game that is in English, and uh, I'm very excited about this announcement. So, Dragon Quest 3 HD Remake is coming out this year on the 14th of November, and I have been waiting for this game for such a long time. Time. Uh, it's like a HD 2D remake of this old, old, old Dragon Quest RPG from like the early 90s. Like this game is old or ways. I think it's from like the 80s actually, the original release. And uh, they are remastering and remaking the entire game. So it looks like beautiful with like HD graphics and visuals, but it still kind of has that pixel kind of look to it, you know, kind of like something like Omori, uh, if any of you played that game, you know, Undertale, kind of like that kind of aesthetic, but like more modern and just better quality graphics and stuff. So this looks awesome and I cannot wait to play this game again. And uh, additionally, they announced that they not only are remaking Dragon Quest 3, but they went and did Dragon Quest 1 and 2 in this exact same style as well. And that game will be coming out next year at some point in 2025. Next, Nintendo showed off a game that a lot of people were kind of excited about, the new Denpamen. Uh, if any of you played on your Nintendo 3DS, you probably heard of the Denpamen. Uh, it's really hard to describe this game, but if 
you like Nintendo games where you get to use your me characters, uh, like the me RPG or Tomodachi Life. Uh, the Denpa Men is kind of like that in terms of like quirkiness and charm and style. So very excited for that. Uh, that comes out next month on the 22nd of July, 2024. And uh, Nintendo fans were just super, super happy with that. Uh, next big game release announcement, uh, Nintendo announced a, uh, update for their Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo 64 service. Uh, basically, if you're an adult, they unlocked a special kind of, uh, download where you could download more mature rated games like Perfect Dark, stuff like that on the Nintendo 64 uh, Switch Online service. Uh, honestly, I think it's kind of funny that they had to give us a separate mode for the M-rated games, but I guess it makes sense, you know, Nintendo does not want those games with the family-friendly games, but yeah, that got announced, so people are very, very happy about that. They also gave us announcements for Metroid Zero Mission and The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, uh, Game Boy Advance games, so you can get to play those now on your uh, Switch Online service. Uh, what else, what else? They announced a new Mario Party game. I'm so happy. So I love the Mario Party games. Uh, they're so much fun to play with your friends and stuff like that in groups. So Nintendo announced Super Mario Party Jamboree. And this is like the best Mario Party game possibly that we've gotten in, in a very long time. It's gonna have a ton of maps. Uh, older maps are returning, and there's going to be a bunch of new maps as well. The maps are enormous. We're going to have a bunch of new mini-games. Uh, they showed the characters. There's so many characters to play as. So I am excited for this game. I loved the last Mario Party, and that one actually had online multiplayer. And I was playing with people online and just having a blast. So very, very happy for this new Mario Party announcement. And uh, that's releasing in, uh, in October, on the 17th of October this year. Next, this is the one everybody was waiting for. They announced a new Zelda game. Yes, a new Zelda game. Uh, it's a 2D style Zelda game called The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And it's coming out in just like three months. It comes out in September. That's like July, August, September. There you go, three months from now. So on the 26th of September, we're going to get a new Zelda game. And this game is going to be very different than what we're used to. So for the first time ever, basically, Zelda is actually going to be the main character of the Zelda game. So usually, for those that don't know, in Zelda games, you only play as Link in about every single game. Uh, for the most part, there, there have been a few games where you actually got to control other characters and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this is huge. This is very, very like important. And uh, I will definitely be playing this game. Uh, it's gonna involve, like, magic and, like, cloning abilities and things like that. Because, uh, Zelda, you know, she has, like, a magic wand, uh, special, like, magic powers and things. So she can, like, replicate objects and stuff around her with, like, special clone abilities and copy abilities and stuff. Uh, it looks awesome, and I cannot wait for this game. They also announced a special Zelda Nintendo Switch system. And the entire thing is completely golden. And it has, like, the Zelda logo and stuff on it. It looks super cool. Uh, I, I already have a Switch, but this makes me want to buy it. Like, it looked awesome. <laughs> um, next, during the Nintendo Direct, they showed off a trailer for LEGO Horizon Adventures, which is coming out this holiday season. Uh, it's basically Horizon Zero Dawn, you know, the PlayStation game, but a Lego version, which is super interest interesting. <laughs> Apologies, I, I was going to cough and I caught myself, which is super interesting. And uh, then they showed off like a bunch of other games. I can't go through every 
single announcement, but I feel like I went through like the big kind of important ones that everybody was talking about. And then we got one final announcement, which made every Nintendo fan go crazy. They finally showed us Metroid Prime 4. We finally got some gameplay for this game that got announced when I created the channel. This game literally got announced shortly after. This game has been in development for years. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, they, they showed us gameplay. It looks amazing. And they gave us a release date. It's coming out next year in 2025. And the official name is Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. And uh, Nintendo fans and Metroid fans were just going crazy for this announcement. People have been waiting for such a long time for a new game in the Metroid series, like the Prime series. So this is huge. Uh, next, let's move on to the other news that is not Nintendo related. So Xbox is very, very happy with their showcase they did earlier this month. Uh, they're, they're so happy, in fact, that they announced that they are already planning for a great showcase next year. So uh, it looks like Microsoft is happy that for the first time in, in a few years, people are very happy with the games they, they announced, like, you know, Gears of War and stuff like that. So they basically are planning their next one. So I'm sure all the higher-ups at Xbox are like, hey, we have to do the exact same thing. We got to show a lot of games, make everybody happy next year. So I'm very happy for Xbox. I can't wait to see how their next year kind of a show is. Hopefully the showcase, like they gave us like a ton of announcements for big upcoming games. I would love to get a new Skyrim kind of announcement, maybe a new Fallout, stuff like that would make me very, very happy. Um, so let's see, let's see. Uh, great news for Crash Bandicoot fans. So as of right now, today, they basically came out with some information. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy has passed over 20 million copies sold worldwide, which is incredible. Incredible. Like, Crash Bandicoot sold over 20 million copies around the world. That just shows you how many people love Crash Bandicoot games. Like, Crash is an awesome character, and I really hope this shows everybody at the company that we want more Crash Bandicoot games, because they did a great job with that insane trilogy. It was so much fun to kind of revisit the first three games with, like, HD graphics and textures, and I would love to see them make a new game. Uh, they made Crash Bandicoot 4 shortly after, and I would love to see them make a Crash Bandicoot 5 now, so hopefully they do that. And uh, I would love a new Spyro game as well. Maybe they could make it like a, a Spyro slash Skylanders game, like a combination of both or something. Who knows? But, but I would love that. Um, they... They basically said that, uh, let's see, let's see, I'm trying to find all the important info of the week here. <laughs> um, so the developers for Minecraft are actually asking Minecraft fans to help them beta test the PlayStation 5 version of Minecraft right now. So the way that you can help is if you have a PlayStation 5 and you have Minecraft uh, PS4 edition, there is a way on PS5, if you're playing the PS4 version, to kind of opt in to a beta test for the PS5 edition. Uh, the game is glitchy and it has some bugs, but the Minecraft team is looking for loyal fans to play a lot of Minecraft, help them figure out what bugs, what things need fixing. So uh, yeah, if you're a big Minecraft fan and you really want to help out with the development of the special PS5 version, which is going to have like, you know, very, very nice effects and graphics and ray tracing and all that good stuff, then definitely try to help out the Minecraft team right now. Uh, all you gotta do, they, they have the, um, 
the instructions on the, their, their website blog post on how to join the, the beta version. But yeah, you need a PS5 and you need to own the PS4 version of Minecraft. And then you can kind of sign up and they, they'll let you in. Uh, next, we got some information. Uh, this one's interesting. This one's interesting. So, uh, the Uncharted movie. Uh, that came out and did very, very well at the movie theater. Well, uh, basically, they came out to announce that, hey, they, they're making a new movie. And we kind of already knew this. But, uh, yeah, they, they said that it is officially confirmed now. So we're going to be getting a sequel to the Uncharted movie. And, of course, you know, Mark Wahlberg and uh, everyone will be returning, hopefully. Uh, I would hate to see any characters change, but, yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I, I thought it was great, uh, as an, as in, like, a, a player of the earlier Uncharted games. I felt like they did a good job kind of capturing Nathan Drake. I know some people said that, you know, they, they only saw Spider-Man. They did not see, uh, Nathan Drake, but, but I felt like he did a good job in the movie. Uh, so definitely check out the Uncharted movie if you haven't seen it yet, because we're gonna be getting a sequel at some point in the future. Um, I feel like that's all the big news for this week, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was definitely, like, all the big announcements. So, uh, thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. So long.